ஸ்ரீ குருவியோ நம நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி சாப்டர்ஸ் டூ இன் ஸ்டாட்டஸ்டிக் கலெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் டேட்டா ஸ்டாட்டஸ்டிக்கல் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் சர்ச்சிங் ஃபார் தி ட்ரூத் ஓகே ஸ்டாட்டஸ்டிக்கல் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் மீன்ஸ் இட் இஸ் அ சயின்டிஃபிக் அண்ட் சிஸ்டமேட்டிக் கலெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் டேட்டா பை யூசிங் த வேரியஸ் ஸ்டாட்டஸ்டிக்கல் மெத்தட் தட் மீன்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மெத்தட்ஸ் வி ஆர் யூசிங் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் எ சொல்யூஷன் ஃபார் த ப்ராப்ளம் ஆஃப்டர் மேக்கிங் எ பிளான் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் அன் ஸ்டாட்டஸ்டிக்கல் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் வாட் ஆர் த ஸ்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்டாட்டஸ்டிக்கல் இன்வெஸ்டிகேஷன் மீன்ஸ் டிஃபைன் த ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ்ஸ் கலெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் டேட்டா ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஆஃப் டேட்டா ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் ஆஃப் டேட்டா அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் டேட்டா அண்ட் த லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் இன்டர்பிரிட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் what are the key terms is used in the survey means for the first one is investigator investigator is the person who conducts the statistical survey the second one is enumerator he is the people who help the investigator the enumerator will help the investigator to collect the information the third one is respondent that is the people from whom the information is collected where he is getting the information the third one is that is the last one is survey it is a method of gathering the information so whatever the method has been collected from the top to bottom all the information is gathered together that is called an survey now let's see how the data has been collected the data is has been collected in two sources that is internal sources and the external sources so what is internal sources means the information which is collected within the organizations that is called as an internal sources if any information if want means they can use the previous year files or previous year reports to know about the organizations okay so when the data is collected from files reports and records of the organization it is called as an internal source of data here the example is given as annual report of profit and loss or profit and loss salary details and loan details etc so whatever the profit has been earned in our organization they can see by using the last year files they used to file whatever the uh, a profit earned in a company so what a, how much salary has been given to the staff members or what about the loan it is everything they can get from the organization so that is called as an internal sources the next one is external sources here the data is which has been collected outside the organization that is from the outside so data collected and compiled through external sources so external sources can be collected in two ways that is primary data and the secondary data primary data primary data means collecting the information by ourselves by using the investigation method that is called as an primary data okay so the primary data will be in a two forms that is quantitative data and the qualitative data but where in case of secondary data the information is get from the other sources that is from the uh, other sources mean from the newspaper or from the website or from the any other books okay all this data is called as an secondary data now let's see the differences in the primary data and the secondary data the first one is meaning so meaning if you see means a primary data we already know that collected by ourselves but in case of secondary data where the information is collected through the other persons originality so in primary data it is an unique information because the investigation is the information is collected from by ourselves so the information will be original in secondary data it is not original because the data is already published in the newspaper already it will be there in the websites adjustment so in case of primary data adjustment is not focused but adjustment is not needed but we have to focus on the uh, information what we are collecting in secondary data uh, needs adjustment based on the informations to the uh, problem what we are searching okay the sources Uh, surveys observations and experiments is needed in primary data where in secondary data internal records and government published data is required type of data it's qualitative data in primary data in case of secondary data it is an quantitative data what are the methods in used in primary data means observations experiment and interview method is used where in case of secondary data desk research method and searching online method is used reliability means in primary data it is more reliable that is good in quality but in case of secondary data is less reliable time consumed is more in primary data and time consumed is less in secondary data 
need of investigators trained investigator is needed for collecting the information in primary data where in case of uh, uh, secondary data it doesn't need cost effectiveness is costly in primary data where in secondary data is economical collected when the data is collected means when the secondary data is and then inadequate and the before primary data is collected capability more capable to solve a problem in primary data where less capable to solve a problem in secondary data suitability is more suitable for achieving the objectives in case of secondary data may be it is a uh, uh, suitable may not be it is suitable bias means it is nothing but against one person so, so in primary data it is a possibility of bias but in case of secondary data it may be safer from the bias so collected this so primary data is collected by the research, researcher or the agents where in secondary data the person has already collected the informations from the, by using the second primary data precaution to use is not necessary in primary data where in case of secondary data it is quite necessary next we'll see the what are the methods are used for collecting the data in primary data the first one is direct personal investigation that is interview method second one is indirect oral investigations that is through the enumerators next investigation through local reporters and questionnaires investigation through mailed questionnaires and investigation through observation now let's see this in detail so what is direct person investigation means here the person that is the interviewer will collect the information directly from the person that means the respondent who is from opposite side so all the data will be reliable that is all the data are original okay so here the direct personal interviewer collect the informations directly so here the data may be influenced by the personal prejudice of the interviewers so everything we can get it immediately so that is called as a direct personal investigation in indirect oral observations in this the information is collected indirectly from the third person that is called as a witness this will be mostly take places in the case of investigation for the police cases okay any problem it is taken place as mean through the invest through the witness only they used to collect the data that is called as an indirect oral observations here the information is collected from the third persons here example is given information regarding the use of intoxicant that is drugs and alcohol the reliability of the data depends upon the person who is providing the information so that with that witness should be an honest person okay so balance we'll see in the next class thank you children